Well, it's just another day that ends in Y, transmentalism on display. Fuck. We go to West Virginia, high school girls sports. Why? Yeah. Dude who likes to feel pretty was involved in a shot put. <laughs> but the opposing team says, yeah, we're out. Fuck you. Walks off the field in protest. Thank you. Good for them. I'm Jazz Gonzo and this. Well, excuse me, it's ma'am. <laughs> What's next? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jazz Berganza, what's next? Your daily dose. Hope you guys are feeling good today, of course. As always, common sense, facts, and salt. Happy Tuesday. Well, sadly, we're going to go down this ugly road. This crooked, twisted ass road because the stories won't stop. And we're just going to keep rolling with them. In just another day that ends in Y, sadly, we're heading back to transmentalism. We go to West Virginia, high school girls sports, where a dude likes to feel pretty was involved in a shot put. But before uh, he started doing anything, well, uh, let me let me not jump ahead of myself, you know, because normally situations like this, you know, the, you know, the girls will compete and and yeah, yeah, it was so great to be here, and we're so great, you know, glad standing here on on the stage and receiving their medals or what have you. And no. No, no. In a twist, in a nice twist, one of the opposing teams, girls, decide to say, yeah, you know what? We're out. And they walked off the competition in protest. Love it. And here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. West Virginia middle school girls walk out of the shot put competition in protest of transmental. A transmental middle school athlete won the shot put competition, shocker, right? In West Virginia last week, in a slew of female competitors refused to throw and walked off the pitch in protest. Becky Pepper Jackson, 13-year-old boy. No, no, no. Jackson, a 13-year-old boy who identifies as transmental, took first place at the Harrison County Championships on Thursday by a three-foot margin, official records show. Official records? Yeah, that's going to be protested. The eighth grader finished with a 32-foot, 9-inch throw, while the second-place finisher came in at 29 and 6. Most of the girls did attempt throws, but five brave girls protested the unfairness of a dude invading their category by preparing like they were about to throw and then walking off the field. I love it. I love it. Riley Gaines. Five middle school girl, uh, female athletes in West Virginia refused to throw a shot put against a male, Pepper Jackson. This comes two days, and we'll go into this a little bit deeper. This comes two days after the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals blocked the West Virginia law that says you must compete in the category that matches your sex. Sex by birth. And the Fourth Court of Appeals said, yeah, we're not going to have it. Fuck. But uh, let's watch a little bit, shall we? And here he is. And uh, here she is, the purely 100% female. Yes, uh, Mr. Jackson. Now, of course, uh, and of course, once again, he's walking on. And uh, you can see he's holding that uh, shot put like he's, uh, you know, with a tennis ball in his hand. And uh, of course, oh, these are the girls. I'm sorry. Excuse me. These are the girls who were preparing to throw and then walked off the pitch. And let me prepare and let me walk off. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Women's sports advocate Riley Gaines, who has been an absolute tour de force in competing against a male swimmer, Will Thomas, back in 22. Of course, after his competition, uh, Will Thomas decided to drop his draws and his balls hanging all over the place. And of course, <sighs> the rest they say is history. Praise the middle schoolers for taking a stand. It's a sad day when 13 and 14 year old girls have to be the adults in the room, but I couldn't be more inspired and proud of these girls, she wrote on X. Enough is enough. The tide is turning. Well, I hope so, from your lips to God's ears. The courageous demonstration came just days after a federal court appeals overturned a West Virginia transgender sports ban, ruling that Jackson cannot be banned because he has balls. Jackson, who identified as a girl, more likely transmental, and had taken puberty blockers since the third grade. What? eight, nine-year-olds? Really? Really? The parents should be charged and arrested with child abuse. Uh, according to the Associated Press, shouldn't be forced to play against boys, the court found. Judge Toby, uh, Toby Hennens wrote that, given a teen a choice between either quitting sports or playing with other males, 
there's no real choice at all. No, how about you play against the boys, and if you can't compete, you don't play. That's what you do. The defendants cannot expect that. Uh, Jackson will be countermand her, uh, her social transition. Correction, sorry. His social transition. His medical treatment. And all the work that he has done with his schools, teachers, and coaches for nearly half of his life, introducing himself, teammates, and coaches, even opponents, as a boy, because he has won. Secret. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Biden appointed, hence, no surprise, Obama appointed Judge Pamela Harris, again, no surprise, outvoted the lone dissenter in the rule that violates Title IX, which prohibits sex-based discrimination in schools. Again, we're back to Title IX because, as dementia did, yeah, we're going to throw trans mentals in there, and we don't give a fuck. West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey, who argued the case on behalf of the state, said he was deeply disappointed by the court's decision. Quote, I will keep fighting for the safeguard of Title IX. We keep working to protect women's sports so that women's safety is secured and girls have truly a fair playing field, the Attorney General said, according to NBC News. We know the law is correct, and we will use every available tool to defend it. Good for the girls' team. Good for the girls' team. That they were about to set, they were about to set the pitch, and walked off. Every one of them set up, walked off. I love it. I absolutely love it. So this dude who likes to feel pretty wins the competition by default. He won by default. He won by default. And to me, no one should have competed in this. There should have been an outright protest across the board. Every single girl's school that was in that competition should have did the same thing. Set up the pitch, walk off. Set up the pitch, walk off. Every one of them. And the parents of those girls' teams should have protested before this competition ever took place to make a point, to make a definitive point that this shit will not stand anymore. But what makes it even worse is that when you had the West Virginia, you have the Court of Appeals, the Fourth Court of Appeals, slam the West Virginia law, saying, well, you know what, if poor Johnny can't compete against the girls, then, then, then it's, it's a shame for him or her. Uh, I'm sorry, you know. No, 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 no. What's between your legs, it's what's determined your birth. Not because, oh, I feel, you know, sometimes I feel like a nut, today I don't. No, that's not how it works. And for the parents of this dude competing against the girls, like I said just a little while ago, they should be charged, they should be brought up on charges and arrested for child abuse. Since the fucking third grade, this kid has been taking puberty blockers. Are you fucking kidding me? But then again, it's 2024, and you got supposedly the experts know better. Now, don't they? And with that being said, I'm Jazz Berganzo. This is What's Next with more. Any comments, please leave them below. Like and share it. Subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue to spread the word about the show. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.